Hello everyone and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we will learn how to use Microsoft Copilot in Word to convert unstructured data to structured ones. This is, I would say, one of my favorite features of Copilot because it's really hard to move from unstructured data and to kind of put it in a tabular format. And uh, because once you have the data in a tabular format, you can put it in Excel possibly. You can also train artificial intelligence models based on them as well. So I would say data scientists spend 80% of their time just cleaning the data and doing all these data wrangling, I would say tasks similar to what I've shown you before in this course. But with AI, you can do and automate a lot of these tasks right now. So here we go. Please note that right now we're in the transform unstructured text into a table. Let's assume that you have a Walmart store inventory items and you would like to convert these items into a table format. So here, for example, I got apples. I got $1 per pound, 500 pounds in stock. I got milk, $2.5 per gallon, and I also have 200 gallons in stock. I got bread. And all I want to do right now is I would like to convert this simply into a table. So let's go ahead and see if AI is able to do that for us. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to just paste the prompt in here. So now if I go ahead and run it, here we go. Let's wait and see. Again, pretty amazing. So now it was able to convert simply just plain text into a tabular format. So now I can take that table and leverage it as well. And it looks like it understood that there is an item, there is a price, and there is a quantity in stocks in stock and here we go. So now I should be able to say milk, 2.5, 200 gallons. Okay, looks pretty good. So it kind of understood what I'm looking for. Of course, this might be a pretty simple, I would say example. That's why I wanted to test, kind of stretch the capability of AI to see if it is able to transform kind of a messy data. So this is a messy data and it might again take an analyst, you know, I would say maybe like half a day to go through all of this. Imagine this is maybe like an uh, expanded in like 100 pages, for example. You need to write a script basically to do that. But with AI right now, with Copilot, you can try to automate this task. So here I got Michael from New York, loves shopping for electronics at Walmart. He visits the store twice a week and prefers weekend shopping. He spends an average of $150 per visit and usually shops between 3 to 5 p.m. He's a Walmart Rewards member. Sarah in LA, she frequently buys groceries. She shops three times a week, usually on weekdays. Her average spend is $200 per visit and she shops between 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Kind of you would see kind of the trend in here. So we're talking about a customer we're talking about their spending habits. We're talking about what day and what time they shop. And they're also whether they are a rewards member or not, right? You should be able to see as well, I included James here in Phoenix. And what I want to do right now is I would like to leverage the power of Copilot and AI to see if I'm able to transform this data into a tabular format. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to say discard or delete this. I'm going to go to Copilot and again, I'm going to paste this and let's see if it's able to do this. And here we go. So now in a matter of seconds, AI was able to extract that data, understand actually what we're talking about. So it, it understood that there is a name in this text somewhere. So I got Michael, I got Sarah, I got David. I got their correct location, right? So Michael was in New York, Sarah was in LA. Here we got the shopping preference, electronics and groceries, twice a week, three times a week. Here we go. Here we got the average spend, shopping time, and reward, whether they're a reward member or not, which is a binary column. Of course, you can take that data, you can use it to train an AI model afterwards, so you don't have to uh, clean up the data yourself. Okay? And that's it. That's all I have for this lecture. I hope you enjoyed it. In the next lecture, we're going to learn how to chat with Microsoft Copilot in Microsoft Word ask questions about a document, and also replace content as well existing in a document. Please stay tuned, best of luck, and I will see you in the next lecture.